Jesse, we are leading an attack against a convoy of prisoners taken by Vaz. Wait, what's the plan? An ambush. Go meet the men that you will be working with. They're in Churchtown. They'll be very happy to help you. Good you're here, Jason. Vasa's trucks pass through town. We have to plant the explosives to block the road. Give me the C4, I'll do it. Hell yeah. Hi. Uh, so, planting an ambush. C4 on the flammable truck. <laughs> There's gonna be a big bada boom. Uh, and then up the water tower for a little bit of a snipathon. Snipathon, snipe fest, snipe snipington. Regardless, we're going to be sniping. So break out the sniper rifle. I think there's one up there. I don't know why it keeps defaulting to the flamethrower, and you'll see a bit later that happens too. But as I said, big bada boom. And then these guys turn up, and they're yellow and new. And ooh. -hoo -hoo. And we'll find out later that they are Hoyt's privateers. They're his private army, and they are the majority so far that I've found on the South Island, although I haven't explored the South Island a great deal. Anyway, I finally find my rhythm and start to pick them off a little bit. And did I mention you get double XP for them? Uh, and I'm alternating between the sniper rifle and the camera to tag them, because it's always good to have them tagged. Uh, you're probably shaking your head in disappointment at my inability to snipe anyone effectively, as am I. It's actually pretty painful for me to watch these back sometimes. Uh, but I kind of, yeah, there are moments where I shine a little bit, I guess. Uh, they keep coming. You'll see they come in on trucks from the right. Uh, which way is that? From the east. There we go. Oh, no, from the south. And also down those stairs to the east. Um, so you can, uh, they'll just keep coming. But at some point, I think any second now, the cargo truck is about to drive off. And it's at that point uh, that... Uh, here we go. No, he's proving troublesome. There we go. And it's at that point that you need to head down. I'm just going to grab some ammo. There we go. And head down the stairs and then go get a car to chase them. And I figured I could just jump in any old car, but apparently not. I need to get a very specific one that's at the yellow dot. And I can now understand why, because it's a big old truck. And we're going to need it, because first of all, there's him to run over. And I like to imagine that was his body making it bounce, but I think it was just a rock. Uh, then through here, where there's a roadblock. And it's a shame you don't get experience for knocking their truck into them and killing a couple of them, but such is life. And then these guys uh, push backwards. Sadly, I don't kill them, but I uh, jump out of the car here and end up between them. And for some reason, I've got the flamer, and watching this back, I don't understand why I don't change to the SMG. But I don't, so there we are. And uh, here we go. Using the camera to tag them, there's a guy over to the left who appears in a second. There he is, he was behind the truck. Uh, and again, I'm insistent on trying to flame him, even though he's basically killed me. And I don't know how I got away with not dying there, but uh, I won't complain. He eventually goes down, and then I think that's pretty much all of them. I finally get the SMG out, but he's already dead by now. And then it's just a little bit of a loot fest. There we go, I'll speed it up. And then we're going to find out who is in the truck. Who will it be? Hey Jason, you miss me? definition of insanity is insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again oh, expecting shit. shit to change that is crazy but the first time somebody told me that I don't know I thought they were bullshitting me so boom I shot him the thing is He was right. And then I started seeing it everywhere I looked. Everywhere I looked, all these fucking pricks. Everywhere I looked, doing the exact same fucking thing. Over and over and over and over and over again. Thinking, this time, it's gonna be different. No, 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 please. This time, it's gonna be different. I'm sorry. I don't like the way you are looking at me. Okay? You have a fucking problem in your head. Do you think I'm bullshitting you? Do you think I'm lying? Fuck you! Okay? Fuck you! It's okay, man. 
I'm gonna chill here, man. I'm gonna chill. The thing is, all right, the thing is I killed you once already. And it's not like I am fucking crazy. It's okay. It's like water under the bridge. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Oh, Jesus. No. That was fun. <laughs> Good old boss. I, he's genius. I love that character. He's really, really well acted. I think I've said this a lot about, um, in fact, all of the characters, but they just are. I think they've done a really sterling job on the voice acting on this game and just the characterization in general. Anyway, uh, we broke free of the shackles and now it's time to cause some trouble and save the warriors. So you may have noticed I've added two missions here just because they kind of flowed naturally into each other um, and there was no traveling involved. Anyway, get the first guy behind the waterfall then that one with a knife takedown and you've got no weapons obviously. You've still got your herbs which is good so you can make some potions and that's going to be essential to like, create an enhanced perception a couple of times and uh, you've still got your camera strangely I guess it's a pocket camera that Vars didn't want to take and um, so making some enhanced perception to try and spot everyone it doesn't really help me uh, a great deal there's a guy down here that I kind of faff with a little bit and there's a couple of guys patrolling and I actually even though I don't like to toot my own horn too much I think I do a pretty good job here I managed to stealth most of the camp and as always it just goes a bit wrong at the end I can't uh, get a perfect run ever it seems but anyway this guy here there's my marker but I was a split second too late so take him down and drag him back into the bushes so he doesn't get spotted and it's kind of weird that you have to have a skill to drag a body away and you can't pick them up, although it does basically mean I don't spend half my time just fiddling around hiding bodies, because that would be tedious. Anyway, this guy uh, is just up there, and I've got a, I think I've seen him walk towards that ledge, and really if there's a ledge like that, they're always going to walk towards it eventually, and it's a perfect opportunity for a death from below. So a little stab in the gut, and he is down. And he's got an RPG, so I'm going to grab that too, and I think that makes three or maybe four weapons that I've got now. And then climb up here, I just wanted to get a better vantage point to see what was going on. And what do you know, there's another round for the RPG. Although I never actually use them because I'm worried they'll make too much noise. And as you'll see later, as soon as the alarm goes off, you get a five minute timer to make it to the helicopter. But I, as I mentioned, I do an okay job clearing this, and it's really frustrating how they spot me at the end, um, you'll see. But when they do, <coughs> excuse me, when they do set the alarm off, they, uh, a whole bunch of reinforcements come obviously, but this guy I sneak around, get him, and turn around, and then manage to drag him under the building, which was unexpected. I just wanted to get him out of line of sight, but actually it let me go under there, so I'll take it. And then round the back of this building to get this guy who is just waiting there to be stabbed. And he falls down, there we go. And then there's just this guy left. And I kind of popped up, I wanted to see if there was any loot or anything worth picking up. And there's a sniper rifle, but it's not silenced, so that's a problem. I didn't want to shoot him in case it made too much noise, but looking back I probably should have done. Because in the end, um, well you'll see. So a bit of looting, and then looking for this guy, I thought there was someone over there, but there is not. This guy is just walking around on his own, and it should be the easiest kill in the world. I'll wait for him to turn around and then crouch behind him and he hears the water, and it's like, oh. Man, I should have gone round. Unbelievable. Anyway, that set the guards off. They've all heard me, and there's a guy running in now. You'll, I think I tag him in a second. There he is. And he runs around there, and that's where the alarm is. And so he runs around, sets off the alarm, and you can see the time has started. And so I wish I'd just gone out. But anyway, it's reinforcement palooza now. Uh, here they come. There's a guy here on a mounted gun, but I take him down first shot. Okay, that's rare, but I'll take it. Uh, and then there's a guy nerfing around down there, and I think another one kicking around somewhere. Uh, 
climb up here and just refill on ammo. And then this, sorry, I'm just emptying all the loot crates because uh, I figure I've got enough time. I think pretty much everyone's dead by now, but there's a sniper up there. I don't know if you, there you go, there's the red light. So he is there. And there's a couple more guys you'll see in a second um, using the enhanced perception. It's always a good idea. I like to keep a good fill of amber and red leaves because by the time you've got the full rucksack, which you should have by this stage if you've unlocked all the outposts, um, you can carry 96 items, and 96 is plenty, so you can have like 50 leaves, which is 10, 15 of each type. Although I haven't found a use for the white ones yet. I'm wondering what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to be special, because they also seem quite rare. But that guy isolated himself for a takedown. There is another one mulling around over here, so I get up there and take him. He's clearly looking for me, but uh, the machine gun, sort of, or the SMG, acts a bit weird. I was trying to feather the trigger and it just it was slow to react and then that guy eventually gets him in the head <laughs> one day there we go he's down and now I think there's just uh, oh there's that sniper that I never took out and still don't manage to take out there we go come on I can do it there's one minute 20 left and then just a heavy left who is lurking around the corner oh no sorry one more sniper Bloom! Sniper down, and then just the heavy here, plus a guard dog who sort of came out of nowhere, who starts to bother me while I'm trying to shoot him. And I shouldn't have really tried to shoot him head on, that was foolish, I should have got up behind him and stabbed him. Uh, I grenade it, and then I suddenly thought, oh god, what if the <laughs> helicopter blows up, but fortunately it didn't. <coughs> There's a dog here that I get from the hip, heal a bit, and then just run around and stab this guy. And I think as I've mentioned in other videos, I'm doing this on medium. So this might not work for you on hard. I might have. Um, I think I'm going to pump the difficulty up just because I don't want to get to the point where I'm just kind of wrecking it and then making it super easy. But anyway, uh, you tell this guy to fly you off, and then you get here, and there doesn't appear to be an obvious way to shoot this guy. You don't have crosshairs, so I'm assuming it's impossible. But if you manage to kill him and change the outcome of this, let me know. Anyway, I'll let this cutscene play out. Lots of love. See you in the next one. Bye. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity?